Hello everyone, today I was going through my playlist on YouTube and I was looking through my oldest, like oldest, oldest videos and I found a few that I was just like, whoa, why was I watching this? So I'm not saying I watch these videos, but yeah. Yeah, and these videos are from like 10, 15 years ago, so I guess the demographics were different, but yeah, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna be learning how to kiss. The key to giving a good kiss with a lot of tongue, ironically, is to be very sparing with how you use your tongue. I have said this so many times, please listen and please obey. Uh, that type of shirt is not gonna get you any girls, man, I iron your shirt. Or tongue, touch your partner's lips before your lips do. So this is what should not happen. Get over here. Whoa, he just got raped. How horrible raped. was that? <sighs> horrible was that? Wait. Here, wait, let me do it again. Okay. Ugh. Oh, that was that worst ever. I've never experienced something worse than that. Oh, I have. <laughs> I really have. <laughs> you should never... Why isn't he cleaning his mouth? You can kind of see that, like, by the mustache. It's just there. Like, dude, you, you gotta feel that. That's like dripping all over your lips. So I love Caesar. Oh, what the? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Look at this. So when the kiss started, her hand was literally on the side and her leg, right? She was keeping the distance. She's professional. She's just trying to make a video here. She's getting paid for this, you know? She gotta keep it professional. But then out of nowhere, you can tell they really get, you know, they get into it. And then look at her like grabbing there, you know, and that's why they had to zoom in the camera so they wouldn't see it. I don't know, maybe just me, but I think she really she was excited for this. It's like, oh. let's show them what not to do. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh, it's gonna be horrible. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> not to do, guys. What don't do not this. To do. Oh, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> do it. And then she's gonna be like, oh, just make sure not to have sex right after your first date. Huh, let's show them how not to have sex. My golden retriever. Yeah. Kissing the dog. I need to be taken out. Guys, there's nothing worse. Dude, David had to cut it because she probably, it, it got too intimate. That's why they had to cut it. It's just, I'm pretty sure of this. There's just no way. I don't know how you feel about that, but uh, I didn't learn much from this. I just feel like I was watching a MILF trying to get it with the young guy. So I don't know about you, but like, I'm not that great at going out and meeting people, you know? It's 2022, you go on your phone and go on Tinder, swipe, swipe a few times, and then you got it, you got a date. So, you know, you gotta do it the real way, the way men used to do it. You gotta go in the makeup bio, and you're not buying makeup for someone else, but I guess you're just gonna go there and find random people walking by. Whenever you see a guy with his collar up like that, that, that's a man that doesn't care. He was gonna go at it. He's gonna kiss you if he has to do it in front of cameras, in front of people. And yeah, that's our teacher today. Okay, let's see how serious this gets. This cart that you have here, you've done absolute wonders with it. No, I picked it out myself. Thank <laughs> you. I can tell. I really like your shirt. Thank you. Uh, honestly, it was your eyeshadow that drew me to me. Oh. It's such a perfect color for your face. You. So what you're seeing here, is the aftermath of a great approach. Okay, the eyeshadow. Not, you couldn't come up with something better. Eyeshadow, come on, bro. You could just get the eyeshadow, put it on yourself, and then just, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm attracted to myself. Like, dude, you could put eyeshadow literally on a freaking dog. Would you hump that dog just because of the eyeshadow? Come on, come up with better excuses. So it's important that you give her status or you, or you give her your attention by pointing your hips towards her. So I'll shift like this, and I'll give her, you know, direction with my body. Now, I don't want to stand directly next to her, and I don't want to stare at her, and I don't want to give her 100%. So every time you go to the grocery store, make sure you take out your ruler. It's, it's got to be the proper angle. You know, you can't be too close. You can't be too far. You got to measure it. You know, two feet away from her. Nope, three feet. It's going to make her uncomfortable. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Carry your ruler around, and you should be good to go. And we're holding that eye contact. And the last part is what Okay, you that girl, she must be tired. Like, literally, her smile does not change throughout this thing. It's just like... They pretty, I feel like her role was just like, okay, you're gonna smile. You're not gonna say anything, just smile. Something along the lines of. And that way I'm making my intentions very clear. I've come up to flirt with her and probably escalate it further once I get out of here. Escalate it further. Hmm. What could he mean by that? I think that this would be absolutely perfect for your hair. And I saw you and I just had to tell you that you should get one of these for yourself. Don't you think? I, I think it would actually go really well with your outfit right now. 
No, not at all? Maybe. You don't think so? Don't all right, what you definitely- At this point, he's just pretty much getting stuff and putting it in her basket. Like, he's just gonna grab milk, you know, like, I need some mayo. I need some peanut butter. And then just at the end, oh, you know what? You don't need it, I'll take it. She doesn't seem to be enjoying that touch right there. Offensive. I don't want to make her uncomfortable. I don't want to make her uncomfortable. I don't want to make her uncomfortable. I'm going out on Tuesday night down to Old Town to go salsa dancing. Why don't you come with me? Okay, sounds great. So this makes no sense. So the girl jumped on the guy's car, so she's the one that's hitting on him? I don't know why. I would have loved to see the guy just let go of the car. And you know, like, when the front is heavier than the back, it just... You know, if you say, we should go out on Tuesday, and she says, no, I don't want to go out with you, then, then not asking hasn't done anything. Um, but if you do ask, it makes you appear less confident. So you want to make a statement, we should go out. Oh, or, okay, you're getting more aggressive. Um, you know, tell her what, you're, what you want to do. And I could just picture her grabbing her by the hand, like, dude, you're gonna come with me, you're gonna clean my room, you're gonna make me breakfast, and you're gonna give me some. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Say that you want her to come with you. So I'm going down to Old Town on Tuesday night and I want you to come with me. That is the only way to be 100% certain. So if you're talking to a girl and you don't think it's going well, I would still recommend asking because that way she can say yes or she can say no, but that way you know for sure that she want, does or does not want to go out with you. <laughs> So no matter what, she has to say yes. So if, even if you force her, you have to grab her by the hand and just tell her what to do, okay, according to this guy. And, you know, it's great to see all those videos, to see how far we've become, you know. It's, it's such an improvement now. Saying, but, yeah, guys, uh, I mean, use these tutorials. Check out the original uploaders. You know, I'll, I'll put the links down below if you want to learn a little something here and there. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I got to go home now and then just uh, do a little more studying of what I just learned and put it to practice. See you on the next one.